My name is Matt Faiello, and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Cisco UCSBU. And I'd like to take the next 15-20 uh, minutes and discuss and show UCS Advanced Policy Resolution. UCS Advanced Policy Resolution is a core functionality of UCS. So while I'm going to show and demonstrate this policy resolution uh, with UCS Central um, today, um, of course, you can implement the same exact uh, architecture within UCS Manager. It's supported. Um, so there's nothing I'm showing you today that can't be done within UCS Manager. As a use case, I'm going to uh, uh, actually uh, be using a boot to sand policy, but I'm going to craft different boot policies because I'm going to assume that your SAN administrator does not want all servers booting to the same controller. So to spread that load out, I'm actually going to have multiple boot policies. Uh, and as such, uh, my goal here is to, uh, is to reduce the overall number of service profile templates. I'm actually going to use one global service profile template, but I'm going to access multiple boot policies from that template. So uh, before we move on to a, like a live demonstration, I'd like to go ahead and uh, present everything that I'm going to be doing uh, from, from a slide perspective so you can see it on paper. Um, basically, I have a organizational structure here, org root at the top, uh, under that a suborg production, underneath that two suborgs, uh, SA controller A, SA controller B. And uh, as such, I'm going to actually instantiate my my global service profile boot template. So my GSP template is going to be at the highest hierarchy. In reality, I probably wouldn't do this in production. I'd probably put it at a lower suborg. But uh, for today's purposes, I want to demonstrate pushing things up higher in the hierarchy, especially if uh, they have consistency. So for the majority of my infrastructure that's going to be somewhat static, it's going to be the same for all my servers, I'm going to tend to push those items, those IDs, those policies, um, those connectivity templates up higher uh, in my organizational structure. And uh, as you can see here in our example, uh, I have basically everything in root or root. And I, I've saved off the boot policy here in a different color. And uh, that's going to be the one thing in our demonstration that's going to change. So that's going to be the dynamic thing. Um, everything else is going to stay pretty static. And I have to have a boot policy um, up where my global service profile template is uh, because I can never consume down. Okay, a parent object can never take from a child. So I, if I'm going to craft my global service profile template at root, then I have to have my policies at root. Okay, And in this case, um, I'm crafting a, a boot policy called sand boot. And uh, it's a bogus policy. It's not real. It's just a placeholder. But I have to have something there for my service profile template to consume. So in our example, if I were to craft a global service profile from template and I were to put it in root, okay, then I would in fact grab that sand boot policy. Now we're not going to really do this, um, but if someone were to craft the service profile up in root and you grab the, the sand boot policy you see in orange here, um, nothing bad's going to happen. You're just not going to boot to a server. Now, as we move down the suborg, this is where I'm actually going to craft my real boot policy. And I'm still going to call it SAN boot, the same exact name. And you might think to yourself, well, I didn't think we could have policies with the same name. Well, that's true. You can't have policies with the same name in the same org or suborg. Okay, so I can't craft a second SAN dash boot policy in root. Okay, but I can change my org and craft another policy called sand boot, and that's what I've done. I've gone down the organizational structure down to SA controller A, and I've crafted another sand boot policy. Except this one's going to be real, and I'm I'm fictitiously using one one two two three three four four 
um, to delineate that this is some real value. Uh, these would be real target initiators um, to hit a particular controller um, when I boot to SAN. Okay, so, so this one's real. And if I were to craft or instantiate a global service profile down in that sub org, okay, then I'm going to consume that SAN boot policy. Okay, so for the majority of my infrastructure, I'm grabbing from root all my IDs, my other policies, my VLANs, vSANs. I can reach up and grab everything from root, but for that one policy, the boot policy, I'm going to actually resolve that policy at the local level. Okay, now if I deleted that SAN boot policy, I would resolve up to SAN boot, okay, at the root level. But since I have a SAN boot policy with the same name, at that suborg, I'm going to resolve at my local suborg before I ever look up. And in keeping with this, uh, I'm crafting another SAN boot policy for controller B. Uh, you can tell with the color change. Uh, it's got its unique target initiators, 5566-7788. And if I were to instantiate a global service profile from template down in the SA controller B suborg, then I'm going to consume that local policy, SAN boot in red. Okay, now we're on to our demonstration. Okay, now we're back to our demonstration of the uh, advanced policy resolution. Okay, now we're on to our demonstration of the advanced policy resolution. And uh, I have before you uh, UCS Central 1.4.1a. Uh, .1 and uh, this is the dashboard. And I have some things saved to my dashboard, actually pinned to my dashboard uh, for easy access. So we'll uh, walk you through the configuration here. Um, you'll notice I have um, several boot policies here. Okay, so I have my three unique boot policies. If I expand those out, um, you can see that I actually have a, a SAN boot boot policy. It's in the root organization. If I come down here and highlight the actual um, identifiers, you can see that the, the bogus uh, identifiers, uh, basically all zeros, um, appear in this boot policy. Go back to the dashboard, expand out this SAN boot policy same same policy name but notice it's in the suborg um, root production sa controller a and if i come down here um, you can see that i have the uh, unique identifiers ending in one one two two three three four four go back to the dashboard expand out the third boot policy um, you'll notice this one is in the suborg root production SA controller B and you can see that uh, the unique uh, target initiators are five five six six seven seven and eight eight okay so back to the dashboard you can see that I have one um, service profile template template GSP sand boot that service profile template global service profile templates that's actually in the root Suborg, and if we scroll down, you can see that the boot policy here is SAN boot. Okay, so if I come down to my first global service profile and expand that out, you can see that this global service profile, GSP SAN boot. Dash A1 is actually in the root production SA controller A suborg. So I, um, while it's bound to the uh, GSP SAN boot updating template, I actually instantiated the service profile down in the suborg. And as such, uh, if we go to the policies, uh, you can see that the boot policy is actually referencing the SA controller A boot policy that I showed you.
Now if we go back to the dashboard and expand out the second global service profile, GSP SAN boot dash B1, we can see that it's in the root production SA controller B suborg. So I instantiated this service profile down into the suborg, still referencing the the GSP SAN boot updating global service profile template in the root level. But if I go to policies, you can see that it's referencing um, its corresponding SAN boot policy that's in the same suborg. So again, policy resolution at the the local suborg uh, first before actually going up to any kind of a parent object for resolution. Okay, so let's go ahead and assign these. Sign this one to one one. I'm going to come over here and assign this one. Okay, take a look at these. Um, so far, so good here. Good there. Let's go over to our uh, our uh, version of UCS here. We have actually uh, the latest firmware three dot one dot one Bravo. You can see I have my global service profiles coming down: GSP SAN boot A one, GSP SAN boot B one. So the proper org structures also came down. And if we scroll down, let's actually look at those, see where they are in there. Configuration status, okay, so still configuring. Okay. This one is done. So let's look down to the policies here. Could have also looked in the service profile, but you can see that under uh, the suborg SA controller A that the boot policy SAN boot came down. And under SA controller B, uh, the uh, SAN boot policy came down for B. So if we look at those policies, let's expand it out. Okay, so there's our 1122334 that came down for uh, SA controller A, SAN boot policy, and come down here to SA controller B. Okay, we can see 55667788 came down. Okay, so let's now go look at the service profiles. Let's look at GSP SAN boot A1. We can go over here to the boot order. And we've already seen the policy, but we can take a look at it here as well within the service profile. We can see that the right policy was consumed um, for our suborg 11223344. And if we go down to GSP, SAN boot B1, go to boot order, we can see in this one uh, 55667788. Okay, so um, that completes our demonstration. We've basically shown how we can take a single global service profile template and uh, basically with perhaps 95 plus percent of the template uh, 
remaining the same for all servers, all service profiles as far as policies go, IDs, pools go. Um, but the the things that change, uh, i.e. the policy that's changed, we actually elected to put that down into different sub-orgs. Uh, and then we instantiated the, instantiated the service profiles down into the sub-orgs to consume the, the policies locally, um, which allows them to be different. Um, and as such, we can get by with less templates. So, um, you know, I just chose the boot policy. Uh, you could do this with basically any ID pool, any boot policy, uh, whatever works for your setup and your, your architecture. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and the demonstration. I hope you learned something. Perhaps uh, uh, you can take an idea uh, away from this and uh, make your architecture a little more efficient and easy to manage. Thanks and bye.